As Detroit rebuilds itself from the ruins of its past, there are pockets of untapped landscape development opportunities waiting to be unlocked. Mack Avenue in eastern Detroit is one such untapped opportunity. This is Orlando Bailey from Eastside Community Network, a nonprofit that's playing a crucial role in representing the interests of community around Mack Avenue. So Mack Avenue was once a very bustling corridor, particularly for the Eastside Community Network. It is a corridor that we have invested in historically. The Mack Avenue corridor has seen a tremendous amount of disinvestment, population loss. This disinvestment in population loss has led to vacancy rates as high as 45% in the buildings and plots around Mack Avenue. And there remains a significant challenge in engaging communities in landscape design. So what we have learned in our years and years of planning for neighborhoods is that people don't always like to use maps. Some folks just have a map phobia. Let me explain. Now, traditionally, communities in Detroit have relied upon landscape architects and urban planners to design the landscape around them. ECN, with the help of our team at the University of Michigan, is trying to actively encourage community participation in the landscape design process. This design practice is called participatory design. It is a radical design process where community becomes an equal partner with the design and it reverses the entire traditional design process as instead of just the architects, community becomes empowered to become creators of design ideas. The biggest challenge in implementing this design process is making sure that the architects and the community members speak the same language of design. And to do so, our team at the University of Michigan has created an easy to use 3D landscape design tool called 3D Decision Support Software that empowers the community members to bring life to their landscape design ideas. Professor Mark Lindquist from University of Michigan has pioneered the development of this tool. Rather than rely on uh, more conventional CAD-based software, we really realized that we needed something based on the Unity video game engine that could allow people to interact with the landscape. So what we do is we build a base 3D model for someone to work with, uh, and then in the context of Mac Avenue, a business owner can interact with the software, um, and it's really straightforward. Use a mouse, you can click and drag things. Anytime you add green infrastructure or vegetation, you get feedback on the screen in terms of the metrics of the performance, in terms of how much it might cost, the stormwater benefits, uh, the air quality, and you can interactively change these things and always have a real-time update of how your landscape is going to perform and what the cost trade-offs are. Going forward, our team needs to populate the inputs that go into the tool. This process involves a three-step approach. First, working with ECN and the broader partners in Detroit, our team will identify more sites for landscape design within the map corridor. Then. We will set up sensors such as air pollution sensors and storm water sensors to collect data on these sites. And finally, our team will set up workshop to help the community and practitioners build landscape design based on the data collected. Building sustainable communities equipped to face an aging infrastructure requires collective decision making that ensures all voices are heard. 3D visualization offers a common language through which all stakeholders can interactively engage and collaborate to co-create environmentally, economically, and above all, socially sustainable spaces.